if you suspect that the PCM is not commanding the correct charging rate, the first thing you want to do is get your scan tool out and connect it, make sure that it's set up right, and then ensure that the battery temperature sensor is measuring correctly. You can see up there that we have charging system goal, battery volts, battery temp, and then engine RPM. You have to make sure that this battery temperature is measuring actual temperature. Now a special note here, on many Chryslers there is no such thing as a battery temperature sensor. The value is calculated by the PCM. It's based off IAT at startup and then run time. So if you have no sensor to actually measure, then you're going to have to consider that the PCM is calculating the wrong information. But before you do that, you're going to go to scan data and make sure that your scan data is correct, all your IATs, your ECTs, and make sure that it's not bad data going into the PCM. Now, here's an example where we have battery temperature at minus 9.6 degrees. And you can see our charging goal is 14.5 and our volts are 14.5. This is not a PCM or an alternator problem. It's data input problem. Here in this example, we're showing that the charging goal is much higher than the actual charging voltage. We have a goal of 14. We're only at 12.3. Stop and go to charging system test. You need to test the charging system under this example. This example shows that the PCM is commanding the wrong charging voltage. It's 14.5. It's too high. And the alternator is meeting the demand of 14.5. You have a too high of a charge rate. Now in this case, you would check the PCM's powers and grounds carefully and then replace is required. How do you check PCM powers? Check for B plus at the PCM terminal. Make sure that you have B plus there. If B plus isn't present, test the wires, the fuses, and the ASD relay. Now make any repairs or replacements as required. Then test all the grounds. If voltage drop across any of the grounds exceed 50 millivolts, clean, tighten, or make a repair as required. If all powers and grounds are normal, replace the PCM as required.